And the death toll from the flooding and landslides triggered by torrential rain increased to around 106 in northeastern Brazil. At least 10 people have also been reported missing. The emergency workers are still carrying out the search operations in the area. The Pernambuco Fire Department is working intensively to remove the bodies and possible survivors. The military is also aiding in the rescue and relief efforts. Dozens of volunteers are, and officials are distributing food, water and collecting donations to help those who have been rendered homeless and needy. The governor of the affected state said that the government's priority was to find those who were still missing amid the mudslides and the major flooding. The force of the landslides ripped apart houses in neighborhoods including Jardim Monteverde. This is a poor community just outside the capital city. Locals have likened the roaring surge of mud to a tsunami. I have lived here for many years and I have never seen such a tragedy. So now everyone is homeless, sleeping in churches, and we are all here in the emergency house. Yesterday, I left here at 5.30 a.m. helping because we have to help each other. The National Civil Defense has said that an alert was in place for the very high possibility of more flooding in Pernambuco. And to make matters worse, experts have warned that tragedies like these, floods, uh, floods and landslides, are likely to keep occurring as climate change advances. Adding that authorities must act in order to protect the poor communities in the high-risk areas. They also warned that climate change will continue fueling even heavier rains and cities need to be prepared in order to prevent deaths. They urged the governments to ensure that people do not build houses in the high-risk areas near rivers and hills. So far, rescue teams have found dozens of bodies buried after flood waters tore through the neighborhood on the 28th of May. Crews are using trained sniffer dogs to locate missing people. At least 24 municipalities in Pernambuco have declared a state of emergency and over 6,000 people have lost their homes or have been forced to flee. The Brazilian president, Jair Bolsonaro, visited the state and promised to send help and resources to the families who had been impacted. This is the country's fourth major flooding event in five months. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.